Hey guys, Eastern Block Airsoft here, and today we're going to be reviewing the East German Entrenching Tool. Stop it. Wait a second. I forgot to say this in the video, so I'm going to say it now. Strain, a little strange, out of context, but thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. We, I started this channel back in February, late March-ish, and now it's early June, and it's been f four or five months, f whatever, you guys can figure it out, but now we're at 100 subscribers, or maybe almost... Uh, at least we're at 99 right now and we'll be at 100 within just short amount of time so thank you so much again for 100 subscribers and here's to another 100 or another thousand so this is the east german entrenching tool and this is the latest version they made with the serrations on the edge and the folding function the original ones looked very close to the world war ii ones were a square not folding uh like just shovel and then they went to a folding type and then they added serrations on them by the end. The tool functions as a really good shovel, I mean that's what it's made for, but it also has quite a few other features whereas you can turn it to do the like like bend the the blade or shovel handle or whatever to be a hoe shape so you can dig with it like easier more like a pickaxe almost. Um, also there is uh, the serration feature on the outside that kind of works as a saw and cut roots and such. It's an overall just pretty useful tool even if it's not just for an impression or anything. It's just a solid shovel. So I'm going to test this by digging a small hole, not even that deep, just going to show you how it works a little bit. And then I'll try and cut some wood or some small sticks with it or something. We're going to start digging with the shovel in the right angle position. So if you're trying to like dig a foxhole or just a trench or something, the right angle position like this is much easier. You can just kind of hack at it like a pickaxe. And it digs things pretty quickly if it's pretty soft dirt. Underneath all the light dirt over here is clay, so less easy. <clears throat> the tool is just a generally like it's solid. This thing is not cheap. It probably weighs four or five pounds. It's like, it's not, it doesn't feel cheap or anything. It's well made and it's, it's gonna last a while. If you wanna use it as a camping shovel, if you wanna use it as a, like anything, it's, it's a good tool. So I'll show you the saw feature now. Saw works best at small branches like this. You can just kinda, it's not a great saw, but it works and it's better than just using your hands. So as just for like, Cutting small things that can be broken with your hands, it's not a great thing, but when you're digging, it makes a good like cutting edge to like cut roots and such. But if you really wanna like get something, this edge, the flat edge, works kind of like as an ax almost, if you really wanna just, just, Personally, out of like all the entrenching tools you could buy, I think this is just like generally like a good quality thing. Like it's a good investment if you really like are looking for a small shovel, a tool or something. You might want to look at a newer one, like a NATO one, it's probably better just because it's newer. But if you want, if you like old things and just things like that, this is, it's a good tool and I recommend it try and take down this small dead tree here it might not work and this may not go in the video but if it does you're seeing it now which is pretty cool you can see here how much i got with the shovel and it's a fair amount so we can go down to that so here you can see this is how much i got with the shovel just hacking away at it that took probably 10 minutes maybe have maybe eight minutes about but you can see you can really 
if you need to, take down a tree just using this shovel, which is a cool feature. It can work like an axe, it can work like a shovel. It's just, it's just neat. The tree did end up falling down uh, while I was cutting it, so I didn't end up cutting the tree in half. Well, not in half, but is cutting it down using the shovel. But I would have had I had more time. It just fell over. It was rotten. But it just proves how pretty good this shovel is. It's not. It's not bad. The only things that I had happen with the shovel is the little turning piece here got a little loose when I was hacking it, just tighten it up and there's no problems. So overall, a good shovel. I hope you enjoyed this video, um, it's fun to make, got to cut down a tree. So yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe, you know, have a nice day.